I know a lot of people who complain that they don't have enough time to take care of themselves. What if I tell you, you can make super changes on your mental and physical health by spending just a few minutes of your day. Yes, in this video, we'll be talking about some life-changing micro habits, those habits that require just one or two minutes of your busy day to see a major shift in your well-being. If you know, small changes on a consistent basis lead to massive changes. If you are new here, hi, my name is Elizabeth. I'm a psychologist and if you love my content, show your support by subscribing to this channel, which will mean a lot to me. Okay, let's discuss some teeny tiny habits today which have the potential to transform your life. Micro habit number one, make your bed. This is one of those habits which has made a world of difference in my life personally, especially as a student. It appears to be a very easy task, but no, it requires a lot of intention and mindfulness. A lot of problems that we face, for example, procrastination, negative self-talk, poor emotion regulation skills, poor cognitive skills, etc. can be improved if you make your bed the first thing in the morning. Sounds funny, right? When you make your bed right after you wake up, you are starting the day with a quick sense of accomplishment and it is like setting a productive tone for the day with a clean mind because a clean space has a lot of significance on a clean mind. Also, it is so satisfying to come back to a well-made bed at night and studies have shown that you will get a good night's sleep and wake up more energetically. Try this for the next few days and you will tell me that there is no going back. Micro habit number two, hydrate. We always hear about the importance of drinking water for our physical health and beauty. But did you know that if you don't drink enough water, your brain will not able to function properly? Yes, if you are dehydrated, your brain will not think actively, remember things nicely and won't produce the feel-good chemicals such as serotonin enough and ultimately the body energy levels get affected. You may experience something known as the brain fog where you feel a mental tiredness and reduced cognitive functioning. And there are even studies which show that people who drink less water have an increased risk of developing anxiety and depression. Are these reasons enough for you to drink water intentionally? So if you want to function your cognition and memory well, be emotionally good and to improve mental clarity and focus, drink water. You can consult a physician to know how much water you should drink on a daily basis as it differs from person to person. But make sure you take care of your mental health by hydrating yourself really well. Micro habit number three, get exposed to a safe amount of sunlight. Sunlight is considered as one of the best mental health medicines and one of the major reasons behind a mental health de decline in the current era is due to the inadequate amount of natural daylight that we get exposed to. Most of us spend most of our time indoors because it is either too much heat outside and in certain countries it is too cold that the sun hardly visits. Sunlight exposure is directly connected to our circadian rhythm, our body's internal clock which regulates the sleep-wake cycle. This poor sun exposure means poor quality of sleep. Poor quality of sleep means poor pendal health. Not just that, sunlight also impacts one's mood, energy levels and vitamin D production. A deficiency of vitamin D is linked to mood disorders such as depression, seasonal affective disorders, etc. The best happiness resolution is to get sunlight the first thing in the morning. And if you are from a place where the winter season is intense, uh, you can invest in something called the light box or the light therapy lamps which um, can be placed in your room or which basically mimics the brighter light of the sun. Micro habit number four, gratitude journal. Trust me, you will notice massive positive changes in your life if you consistently practice gratitude for at least seven days from now. When we appreciate and acknowledge the nice things in our life, we are training our brain to shift its focus on positivity, unlike the brain's natural trait to focus on negativity. You can cultivate gratefulness in a lot of ways, but my favorite is keeping a gratitude journal. And every night before I go to bed, I write three things that went well on that particular day, be it simple things such as a nice lunch or greater things such as signing up a new client. 
I do this even on bad days because there will be definitely something that happened good which otherwise goes unnoticed. If done the right way, it is one of the best ways to take care of your mental health and happiness and to have a positive outlook towards our lives. Micro habit number 5 affirmations and visualization. You know there is this little devil that lives in our head who constantly criticizes us, judges us and belittles us, reminding us of our mistakes and shortcomings, always making us hopeless about the future. That's where uh, powerful affirmations are there as our strongest cheerleader to silence this terrible inner critic. Affirmations are like the little pep talks you give yourself by saying positive things to yourself like I am strong, I am capable, I am worthy. Now here is the cool part. When you say these things over and over again, your brain starts to believe them. It's like training a muscle. The more you work on it, the stronger it gets. So when you tell yourself positive stuff, you start feeling more confident, happier and less stressed. And visualization is intentionally daydreaming your goals, dreams and aspirations and you can actually actually combine affirmation and visualization by imagining all the positive things you say to yourself as if it is the reality. Um, let's say you have a big job interview coming up, you are feeling nervous and unsure if you will do well. Close your eyes and picture yourself walking into the interview room with a smile. See yourself answering the questions confidently, making good impression on the interviewer and leaving the room feeling positive and accomplished. While visualizing, repeat positive affirmations to yourself such as I am well prepared for this interview, I am confident in my abilities, I am worthy of this opportunity etc. By combining visualization and affirmations, you are not only imagining yourself succeeding the interview, but you are also reinforcing positive beliefs about yourself and your abilities. This will help, your, help you calm your nervous system, boost your confidence and increase your chances of performing well during the actual interview. Micro habit number 6, Stretch. Let's do a quick body scan. Take a deep breath and notice the sensations on your body. Do you experience some sort of stiffness or tension on certain parts of your body, for example, your shoulders, neck or back? Try to do some basic stretches focused on that body part to relax and see how it feels. Feels super good, right? Because your body just produces endorphins which are natural stress relievers. You know, our body holds a lot of trauma and stress which makes it stiff and tighten and stretching it is like a wake up call to your body to relax and chill out. When you stretch, your body loosens up, fills you with oxygen and makes you feel awake and energetic. If you can incorporate a 2 minute stretch as part of your morning routine, you cultivate it a deep sense of self-awareness and self-compassion and along with a lot of mental and physical health benefits. Micro habit number 7 Smile and small talks. So have you ever noticed how when someone smiles at you, it just makes you feel good? Well, that's because smiling actually makes your brain release happy chemicals and that's why you instantly feel a little happier and less stressed. When you smile at someone else, it's like you're sharing that happiness with them too. It creates a connection between you and the other person even if it's just for a moment. Now let's talk about small talk. You know those little conversations you have with people about everyday stuff like how are you, how is the weather or what you did over the weekend. Turns out those small talks are more important than you might think. There is a lot of research which shows that there is a strong correlation between engaging in small talks with people and life satisfaction. So the next time you are out and about, don't be afraid to flash a smile or strike up a little conversation. You never know, it could brighten someone and someone's day and even well-being including yours. That's all for this video. I'll see you in another video. I hope you loved this video about micro habits and let me know in the comment section which is your favorite micro habit and which is that habit you want to start practicing in your life right away. Have a nice time. Bye.